Hey everyone, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. I'm just going to come right out and say it. I do not care that the clean girl makeup trends are dying. I'm going to keep doing them anyway. And if you clicked on this video, you're probably my kind of person. I love a good soft glam makeup look. I use a lot of my absolute most favorite products in this video. So if you want to check out anything I mention, everything is listed down in the description box below. But before we get into it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also hit the bell notification. It really means a lot. I'm trying to get past 10,000 subscribers and we're almost there. So I would love if you join the fam, hit that subscribe button, and yeah, let's get right into it. So a really important thing about the clean girl makeup look is skin. As I'm sure you can see, my skin is actually quite stressed out right now. So I've got a little bit of a deep breakout forming right here, which I think we should be able to take care of no problem. It's more so the textural things that are a bit harder to correct, but uneven skin tone, I have such a good technique for making the skin look very flawless, but not too heavy, still very light and clean girl. So let's get right into it. I don't typically use a primer but I really wanted to try this one today. This just looks so cool to me. This is from One Size. This is their Secure the Glow Tacky Hydrating Primer and it just has little pink bubbles suspended through it. It looks so cute and cool so I don't know. This could be gimmicky but this could be really good. I'm just going to apply one pump of that with my fingers to my skin. I'm really being aware to apply a thin, even layer and blending it into my skin without leaving any unblended patches, if that makes sense. So my skin doesn't feel super tacky. I am curious to see how makeup applies on top. Hopefully it is just a nice hydrating base. Otherwise, I'm afraid it might be one of those products that are a little bit uh, like gimmicky. But anyways, back into my normal go-to routine. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is in the shade 1. It's their lightest shade, but as you can see, it's a bit darker than my skin tone. And so it's going to give me a bit of a bronze boost and glow to my skin, which is what I really want because I'm experiencing a little bit of splotchiness, uneven skin tone, and I'm just looking a little bit pale overall. So this is really good as a primer, but also as a glow booster and bronze booster for me. I'm mainly just focusing that product on my cheeks and forehead, but on my forehead, I'm avoiding that acne spot that's coming in because it is a raised bump. I don't want to illuminate that. You see, especially on my fair skin, that alone really just did a good job of evening my skin tone and giving me that touch of color to make me look more alive. I really like this product. It's an exact dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. It wouldn't be a clean girl makeup tutorial if I did not use this. This is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, one of my favorite complexion products of all time. I absolutely adore this tinted moisturizer. I'm just going to apply a thin layer of this to my face. I'm not really going for a ton of coverage, really overall. I want to even my skin tone and give myself a natural glow. This tinted moisturizer does that. And then I'm going in with concealer following this to kind of give myself a bit more coverage in any of those areas where flaws might be peeking through. So our dewy base is applied. I am now going to go in with some spot concealer. And for that, I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer on this little Morphe brush. It's just a little fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna press that concealer into any areas where my skin is just not happy. So right now around my mouth is definitely unhappy, looking a little stressed, got some discoloration, little spots, unevenness, and of course, the spot on my forehead. I'm just going to apply a good amount of this and really focus on blending out the edges of that concealer so the coverage on the targeted areas can stay very full and covered. So if at this stage your spots or acne or whatever you're trying to cover isn't 100% fully covered, not to worry. We will kind of return back to really perfecting those little areas later, but for now, we're just gonna leave it like this, mostly covered, looking pretty good. I did leave my under eyes because we're gonna add concealer there later, but moving right along, I'm going to apply some bronzer. And for that, I'm using my beloved Say Sun Melt Bronzer in the shade Fair Bronze. I absolutely love this cream bronzer. It melts right into the skin. It looks so natural. It's pretty much undetectable, but it gives such a gorgeous, warm, bronze to the skin. It really brings my complexion to life. This is the perfect clean girl bronzer and it's literally a clean product. The ingredients in this are fantastic. 
So I'm going in kind of a weird order. I'm actually going to do my brows next. I'm using the Urban Decay Brow Blade in the shade Cool Cookie, and I'm just filling in my brows very slightly using the pencil side. I'm just going in with hair-like strokes, following the natural shape of my brow. Next, to set the brows, I'm using my absolute favorite brow gel. This is the 24-hour Brow Setter by Benefit. This is just a good, strong, clear brow. You can get a laminated look or a fluffy look like what I'm going for today. This lasts all day and I really love the brush. It really coats every single hair and yeah, I really just can't say enough good things about this brow gel. So it's time for blush. Blush is one of my favorite steps of my entire makeup routine. I really just feel like especially for a clean girl look, blush ties everything together. So I'm using a new shade from Say. This is their Dew Blush in the shade Cutie. They just released three new colors of these blushes and this is one of them. This is a beautiful pinky rosy brown shade. It's very beautiful, very neutral. I think it would suit a lot of skin tones. A little bit goes a long way and this gives a beautiful dewy finish to the cheek. These are my favorite cream blushes right now. I'm absolutely obsessed and again, a clean product. So I love that. I'm going to take a little bit on my nose too, just for that sun-kissed, kind of effortlessly blushing look. How pretty is that blush on the cheeks? And doesn't it just tie the look together? I feel like blush is one of those things that really makes me look alive. If I'm doing a no makeup makeup look, gotta have blush. This is my all-time favorite. I love the dew it gives to the cheeks. Oh, it's just perfect. I'm now going to apply a little bit of concealer underneath the eyes and I'm using the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer for this. I would say this is a medium coverage concealer. I actually quite like this for under the eyes because the formula is quite thin and it doesn't feel heavy or look heavy, which is really key if you're trying to look like you're not wearing a ton of makeup. And then anything left over on my sponge, I'm just gonna tap across my eyelids just to even out any discoloration. Now I'm going to start setting all of those creams that we just applied with powder. I'm first gonna start with concealer. I'm gonna go in under my eyes with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, which is my favorite under eye powder. And I actually use it on the rest of my face as well. So I'll actually use that in my smile lines or any areas that I just want a little bit of a more delicate finish. And I really like the way this powder applies with a powder puff. And then to just lightly set over the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I'm taking a Refer 05 brush and just really lightly patting that into the skin. I think I want to layer a little bit more blush on top of that cream. So I'm going in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked. This is the leopard version, so pretty. I'm just gonna go in with that peachy blush shade here mixed with a little bit of the shade underneath. Okay, so I think the base is just about complete except for a few finishing touches. I think we're gonna move on to the eyes. And I really just wanna do something super simple for the eyes. I've been loving almost like a bare look on the eyes, very minimal effort, low maintenance. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. I'm going in with the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Defining Neutrals Palette. This is the neutral palette of my dreams. I love this palette. I love that it comes with a pomade and powder version of every single shade that you see here. It makes this palette so versatile. I think I might mix a couple shades to make my perfect transition shade. I'm going to go in with the shade Mirage and the shade Chiseled. I'm going to use the pomade formula and I'm just going to sweep that across my crease and just define my eye a little bit. Do you see how effortless and soft that looks? It's almost... Just like I added a little bit of natural definition to my eyes, it really makes a big difference in my opinion. I think this looks gorgeous and those shades just blend it out like butter. Okay, so I want a little bit of brightness to the lid. I'm gonna pick up this light matte shade right here, the pomade shade. This is just like a creamy beige. I'm gonna pick it up on my finger and I'm just gonna press it into the lid. And you can see it's adding a nice natural brightness. It doesn't look too stark. Again, these just blend like butter and they almost melt right into the skin. That looks so beautiful and very soft and natural, exactly what I was going for. I recently got my fake nails removed, so having my fingers and being able to use them is kind of foreign to me. I haven't not had nails in a very long time but it feels good and this just applies so nicely our fingers are such great tools for applying makeup i've been missing out i'm almost tempted to leave the lids as they are but i want a little bit of shimmer 
not even shimmer, just like luminosity to the lids. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush in that same Hourglass palette I was using just earlier, and I'm gonna mix this setting powder shade with this highlighter shade just to create a very subtle, luminous finish, and I'm just gonna tap it on the lids very, very softly. It's very subtle, but I think it looks really pretty, it gives a little bit more dimension to the eyes. I'm actually gonna pick up that same shimmer shade and just pop that in my inner corner as well. All right, it is coming together. I'm gonna add a tiny, tiny little bit of liner and I couldn't do this with any other liner except for this. This is the MAC Brush Brown 24 Hour Liner. This is the best liner I've ever used. It is so easy to use, so foolproof, and it's the prettiest brown color. It looks so natural. I sing songs about this liner. I could literally throw out all of my other liquid liners and just keep this one and I would be so happy. Like, look at the precision you get with that liner. It's so good and just so easy to use. One more good thing about this liner, in case I didn't say enough good things about it, it does not dry out. It lasts so long, it lasts me for months. Like, most eyeliners I get last me for like a few weeks. That's enough about this liner. <laughs> Let's move on. I'm gonna go in with some mascara. I'm just gonna curl my lashes really quickly. Honestly, I'm really not looking for a ton of volume. I really just want length. So I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This has been a favorite of mine forever for literal years and years. This is so good, isn't clumpy, really lengthens, and is so easy to use. The brush is really good for upper and lower lashes. I wasn't going to apply false lashes, but I actually just did off camera. I have been loving these lashes so, so much. These are from Tamara Williams Beauty. She is a really talented beauty photographer and these are in the style clean. So I thought they'd go perfect for clean girl makeup. They are undetectable on the eye. The band is the thinnest, most comfortable band. It's so good. I have another pair here. These are her spike lashes, which are a little bit more dramatic and spiky than the ones I'm wearing right now. But I think you can probably tell these have such a clean lash band. I love these so much. They are really pricey for a false lash, but if you are really picky, these, ugh, oh, they're so good. And they're so comfortable on the eye. They don't look like you're wearing lashes. They look like lash extensions. I would recommend them, honestly. I think they're absolutely beautiful. To finish up this look, I'm going to apply a little bit of a lippy. I'm wearing MAC Royal Lip Liner on the lips right now, obviously, so I'm just gonna build on that. I'm going in with one of my favorite lipsticks right now. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Fair It All. This is just a really beautiful nude. I'm just gonna be tapping this on my lips just to give it a little bit of a nude muted color. And to top off the lips, I'm going in with this Dior Lip Glow Oil in the shade Pink. It's really just a clear lip gloss. It's very nourishing and hydrating on the lips. I really like this one. I think the look is just missing one thing, a little bit of glow. So I'm gonna grab that Hourglass palette again. I'm just gonna mix these two colors together and apply a little bit on the cheekbones. Yeah, that is perfect. It gives that very clean girl, hydrated, glowy sheen. So I'm just gonna set down the face using this Patrick Ta setting spray. This is the She's Thirsty setting mist. I'm just gonna mist my entire face. I go in with a generous amount of that setting spray. And that is it for my current clean girl makeup routine. This is my go-to. I love a clean girl makeup. I do not care if this trend is dying. I'm still obsessed. I'm still gonna wear it. I feel the most beautiful when I wear this makeup look. So let me know if you guys liked it down in the comment section below. And also let me know what trends you think are going to replace the clean girl makeup trends. I was very happy in this no makeup natural makeup phase, but I do feel something new is coming. So put your predictions down below. I would love to hear them. I read and respond to every single comment. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.